Hello everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I wanted to do another one. I'm gonna take this out to drive. A uh, couple frustrating things I've you know run into as we all do when we're trying to keep uh, an engine as old as this moving, even though it's not the original engine though. But uh, nonetheless, uh, what I've done and I've figured out, maybe this might help you guys out, is that you see the uh, linkage here. Well, I'll have to tighten this up for, uh, out here in the back, but this rod here, I'll have to get the measurements if anybody needs it, but uh, for the most part, uh, I had to shorten this here, not the rod, this piece here, because there's only so far that this can go in, right? Uh, and I forgot the name of this part here, but nonetheless, it swivels, obviously bolts on, easy to you know go up and down. So what was happening is, um, the shaft was going in correctly, but it was too long. So I cut the shaft a little bit. I cut the bottom one down here, uh, half the size, right? So this guy was way up here. So I was losing that much of, um, uh, acceleration here. So once I shortened it, it lowered, making my gas pedal inside go up higher. This way I can, you know, how that works don't need to tell you guys so nonetheless I got that straightened out uh, <clears throat> had to do some timing on this again for some crazy ass reason it just uh, went out of timing uh, but for the most part it's been doing really well I've been pretty happy with it uh, let's see here things that I've done okay so most recently maybe you saw the alternator from last time uh, but right here the gearbox I took my gearbox. Doesn't that look amazing? So I took it out. <clears throat> I sent it to get rebuilt. And it is just night and day. I tell you what, with this gearbox, uh, the way it was before, real sloppy. Now, uh, it, it's, it, it just does a great job, you know. Uh, but other than that, uh, again, I stayed with it only because I didn't want to change the radiator and do all kinds of other things although you know had have had all the the time and money i'd do it but it was easier just to uh send it in get it done instead of having to modify you know i didn't want to have to do any of that stuff so uh but other than that i actually was online on ebay <clears throat> and I found some nice door handles. So I got the these door handles. Uh, let's see here. These nice door handles. No rust, no nothing. Like they hardly been used uh, for a great price. I just uh, reconditioned, you know, these guys, fixed them up, cleaned them up. And I also got this from well it didn't look like this <laughs> it looked way worse uh got it from a guy in florida for twenty dollars took it apart perfect inside uh stripped the paint off of this it had like two coats of paint stripped it cleaned it uh got it to bare metal uh put the uh and then just you know primer and paint and clear coat and now it looks great so i'll have that for next time uh and i got me an original mirror on eBay, 15 bucks, if you can believe that, right? So although the glass isn't the greatest, but it is a bow tie, it's original. The ones I have on my Impala are not original, so that's why I was, why I jumped all over this. It's got a little bit of pitting, but in the future, I'm gonna send it in, have them re-chrome it, and it'll look great. Um, Tons of other parts I'm trying to get rid of here. I even got an extra front bumper over here. And there's my other parts I'm working on for my C10, which I'm gonna be going out tomorrow to put out, put the whole rear axle on, everything, drive line, the works. So, all right then, let's take this guy out. Uh, let's see how she does. Or he, she, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't really refer my cars to guys or girls or have a name for it. 
like most people do. I just love to drive it. That's it. So let's see if this will turn on me on the first try. So this isn't the original boot, but I found this boot at a swap meet and uh, it looks good. Works great for this car. So let's check this out. Very nice. Started right up. All right, here we go. Sorry about that, guys. Gotta wait for someone here to get out of my way. All right, now they're out of the way. Garage went down. Let's try this out here. neutral. So the gas, for some reason, uh, it's getting stuck. I think it's the needle. Maybe it's grounding on my, my cable back there. I've played with it several times. Just doesn't seem to want to, maybe I need better grounding is all I'm thinking. Keep in mind, uh, this, for some crazy reason, uh, when I drove a while back, it just like backfired really bad. Like almost, it's just so crazy. I can't even describe it. So uh, I know you guys know the, um, there's those little covers for the, um, ah, damn it, I already forgot the, uh, on the carburetor. Uh, for the, they're like little uh, air sucks in and sucks in and blows it out. Uh, like valve stems, I think, or something. I forgot and I apologize. But uh, nonetheless, I ended up uh, finding those uh, somewhere around the engine cap because it had uh, blown them off, you know, timing, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. gonna take this and we're gonna get it up to 60 70 somewhere around there just around the neighborhood here uh, right off this old highway so I'll be able to really see where we're at with this hopefully uh, it goes well does it backfire
Sorry if it's a little loud. Yeah, the tech's not working. I have tried for the life of me. I think what ended up happening is I ended up uh, shorting it or something. I don't know much about tax. Nah, I might just have it sent in, get it worked on, see what they tell me. But uh, other than that, I run HEI on this, so with the distributor, there's a difference with the signal. And so you have to have some kind of, uh, I don't know if it's like a filter, or if it like, uh, for some reason, it, it uh, lowers the sense, the sense of, you know, the pulse, or it increases the pulse, something like that. I don't, I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, that's what we run into when we're trying to have the tack, you know, register. But uh, in this case, it doesn't work. But other than that, it, it, uh, it looks good. <laughs> So far it sounds good. It's not doing anything crazy. Response isn't bad at all. Another thing too that I have found and uh, not sure how some of you feel about it, but even though I have HEI on this, I did go with uh, 40 zero four zero on for the spark plugs gapping them and I just noticed that I was getting a lot of uh, even though I did the timing it's just you know obviously running rich but if that's what it felt like the back spark plugs were getting really dark you know and I just for the life of me trying to idle trying to get it just right tuned it was just uh, not working for me so I ended up gapping all of them at 35 and this is the result so far everything's going great the timing I just uh, set it just a little bit above the mark not a whole lot right and it just it sounds good and it's not not backfiring or anything which I'm glad that's what I'm trying to shoot for. And the pedal feels really good. Feels so much better than it used to by far. I have a tight squeeze in this third bay. I let my son for the first time actually drive it uh, about a week ago, just before it started giving me problems. It, and he loved it. I really gotta wash it. We'll do a 
quick walk around before I turn it off. All right, parked. Yeah, you see, I gotta tone that down a little bit. So maybe I'll do that now while it's on. like a beast all right everyone thank you I appreciate it I know it's been forever let me know if you have any questions on anything I've been doing quite a bit on it some you know the little bugs here and there and things like that so thank you have a great day